Hey everybody, how you doing? We just we just got back from a a long fun day. We went to Millville first to the uh, to the attic. We haven't been to that record shop in what like almost two years. Mm -hmm. It's unbelievable. It's the first record store I ever went to for uh, record store day a couple years ago, and I was able to find some really cool stuff, including the uh, the Grateful Dead's uh, Warfield Theater album that was all acoustic. But anyhow, having not been there for two years, oh my God, I, had to, I couldn't believe they, they still had a ton of stuff from uh, Record Store Day, which blew my mind. I thought they'd just, they'd be completely out of that stuff, but no, they had lots of, uh, lots of goodies for me. Um, I went to the back section, I was, you know, stuff I've had on my radar for a while, uh, Led Zeppelin, Four, otherwise known as uh, Zoso. Um, this was this was nice to get. Obviously, we're gonna have leads up and everything. You know, I have to laugh when I pull this out and Lisa's like, she, it, "There's nothing on this whatsoever." When Led Zeppelin was notorious for doing that, they did it with Houses of the Holy. They don't. You don't have the name of the band. You don't have the, uh, the song list anywhere. So she's like, "What songs are on there?" I'm like, "You got Black Dog, Stairway to Heaven, Four Sticks, Rock and Roll, uh, Misty Mountain Hop." Going to California, Battle of Evermore, and she's like, "How about Cashmere?" I'm like, "Oh, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I know, I always like, forget." I'm like, Cashmere is on physical, is on physical graffiti. graffiti. Yes, so we'll just buy this will the be. Album I know. I, I won't have to ask you anymore. They didn't have it. I know. Trust <laughs> me, if they would have had physical graffiti, it would be in my possession right now. Let me move this around. I got my phone charging. It's gonna be Why is away. it called Zozo? There, it doesn't even say Zozo on the cover. Zozo was the symbol for Jimmy Page. They all, all four of them had different uh, symbols. Yeah. And that's that's all. So that's why it has. It, because it really doesn't have a name. People just go Led Zeppelin four. Um, next, I was able. I'm always into some Miles Davis. I found a tribute to Jack Johnson. This started off, this was like a movie soundtrack, or a soundtrack for a documentary about the boxer, Jack Johnson. I would say most, probably, even like Miles Davis fans don't know about this one. This is the back cover, which I always liked. Um, I like when they have uh, the We Are Vi Vinyl symbol. That means I could download it and put it onto a CD. So that's, that was a cool find. I'm happy about that one. Um, but here's the record store day releases I was able to find. First up is um, Tom Petty, Angel Dream. Now this was a record store day release. I'm going to show you something here. It's on, this is pretty cool. Let me do this real quick. This is going to be a long video. It's on Cobalt, Cobalt Blue Vinyl. Very groovy. Very cool. Um, I ended up buying the regular ver and now after record store day, like a regular black vinyl version of this came out. And I bought it from the record bar Thursday night, but I was able to actually call them up and intercept it and I told them I was like, Hey, I found a record store version, you know, with the colored vinyl, you know, can you just go ahead and cancel that or replace it with uh, Tom Petty's Wildflowers, the alternate uh, takes. So, you know, that's cool. They're, Trust me, I'm a valued customer of the record bar, so they're definitely willing to work with me. Uh, next up, another cool record store day release. It, it, you know, it's all about, for record store day, you either get, you know, that sticker, you know, you get all kind of hype stickers. Let me see my glasses here. It says, this is Echo and the Bunnymen, live in Liverpool. Uh, record store day, 2021 exclusive two 180 gram clear vinyl recorded in 2001 at Liverpool Institute for Performing Arts issued on vinyl for the very first time this is an import from the UK so check this out I'm a big Echo and the Bunnymen fan I know it's a funny name I'm just used to it like I'm used to saying hey I got something from Magnolia Thunder Pussy so it doesn't doesn't phase me check that out crystal uh, clear vinyl. What's funny is, I, I love clear vinyl like this, but when I put it on the turntable, 
you see straight through it, and basically you see my um, my uh, Grateful Dead uh, slip mat, which is very colorful. It has the artwork from American Beauty on it. So, Echo and the Buddyman. I've always been a big fan. Ocean Rain, Killing Moon. Um, do you remember the lead singer of Echo and the Buddyman? Peter Rabbit? Close. It was uh, Ian McCollard. <laughs> Or McCulloch. I say McCulloch. Isn't he that um, guy that was in The Man from Uncle? No, not at all. And let's see. He did, he had some uh, solo albums later on which were good. Um, last but not least, exclusive, let's see, what is this? Um, this is Donny Hathaway Live. It's from uh, two concerts. One was at the Troubadour in Hollywood which is where Elton John made his mark and the other one is from the bitter end in New York City so I don't know a lot of people you know I'm as far as soul singers Donny Hathaway is one of my favorite guys and if you don't think you know his work just think of uh, Roberta Flack uh, Where's the Love that was Donny Hathaway singing with her he sang with her on a couple songs he also had a huge Christmas song uh, Very Special Christmas I love, oh, that's one of my favorite Christmas songs. So this is, this is a nice uh, treat. And this is the bag that I got from the attic, which is all tore up. Uh, I, we, we took a lot of cool uh, photos, so I'll be sharing those later. Um, after that, they have some new uh, little stores there, like little boutiques. Um, they have a head shop. We stopped there, it was funny. My mom calls me while we're at the head shop. <laughs> and my mom's like, oh, where are you at? I'm like. I'm at the reefer store, Mom. <laughs> so I just, I, I got some incense, I got a crazy lighter, and what is this stuff here? Juicy J, Mellow Mango. Oh my. <laughs> I'm going to see my mom tomorrow, so I have to make some jokes. Hey, while I'm sitting here, right in front of me, this this was a surprise. This came in the mail from um, from the U. Speaking of the UK, um, I'm a fan of Emma Smith. Um, she's a jazz singer in uh, England. I got to know her work through that. My mom told me about the dog commercial. She wanted to know who sang the song on it. It's uh, it's an American commercial, and there's a great song. I found a place in my heart and I'm like I found out it was Emma Smith and she's her deal was actually jazz so I bought her CD and she signed it for me it says for Bill and all that jazz mm -hmm. Hoo -ah. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a nice treat uh, speaking of treats we also stopped there was a, like a little arty artsy uh, place where they this chick makes all her uh, uh, clothes and all kind of stuff. She makes, uh, she does artwork on the coffee cups. Her name was uh, um, Annika. 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 And so I got this uh, coffee mug from her, where she did all the uh, artwork on it. That was that was a very groovy store. I got some cool pics from that. Wait to wait till you see them. Um, and since we were coming, I I didn't want to get stuck in Pittsburgh traffic on the Parkway. So when we left Millville, we went 28 North, and we went to Oakmont, Oakmont like we were going to um, the Greek Festival. Mm -hmm. That's how we came home that day. We did like a huge circle. And going back uh, 28 North was a lot faster for us, but it gave us an excuse to stop at the famous Oakmont Bakery, which has to be, it has to be the best bakery I've ever experienced in the world. Um, Lisa, I'm glad Lisa, snatched up this is I've never had macarons before the French cookie um, not to be confused with macaroons macaroons are okay but macarons man this I know this is going to be like an out of this world experience so I can't wait to try those um, we ended up let's see what do we got here we got pecan rolls um, we got elderberry scones and you got some kind of like maple roll mm -hmm. But uh, the greatest thing, and this is so the simple. The coup de gras. The coup de gras is, it's, um, let me turn it this way. It's a tiramisu dolce. 
this has to be refrigerated so I'm like Lisa and I are going to share this together later we'll have like we'll have spoons we'll be like, I'll be like oh oh God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we had a great time it was cool to go out today um, the weather is, the weather was beautiful it's just like the perfect kind of day and tomorrow of course I'll get to see my mother for the first time in a long time and then we're gonna we're gonna see the Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra at South Park and our friends Kurt and Marianne are gonna be there too so it's cool seeing everybody peace out